to make coffee with a Duro bar. Of course, the cat comes up the minute you try to do anything. <laughs> First of all, we're going to remove the cat. Then we're going to grind our coffee. I have a commercial grinder from our coffee shop, but you can use any sort of arger grinder, a real coffee grinder. Don't use a spice grinder if you can. And I found this in a thrift store for $5. And it has a value of about $35 to $40, depending upon what market you try to sell it in. This is easy. We're going to pour water, which has come to the boiling point, over the grounds. Slowly, and this is like a one cup French press, super easy, and don't overfill it because you will have more coffee than you imagine once you press it with this little included press. Put that on and press it, but we're going to let it steep and then press it. I'm gonna put just a tiny bit more water. And there you have your little cup. It's perking away, reminiscent of the old fashioned days. And I love this little one cup French press. Also has a nice little lid that you can put on it to keep it warm. So after about five minutes, we will come back and check it out and press it. Okay, so now we are going to press the grounds, just like a larger French press. Press it, good. Seriously, now that is a good cup of coffee. It has a little bit of grounds in it. If I could grind it at a less fine ground, I would really be happy, but I can't do that on the machine. I'm maxing it out. I'm on the perk setting, which is the largest ground setting that is offered. 